everybody and welcome to Easter Monday's Animal Custom from Lion Learners East Midlands and today we have an Easter special. We are going to play a game of Guess the Egg because I'm sure that you've all been eating lots and lots of chocolate eggs over the last few days and everybody knows that birds lay eggs but sometimes it surprises the people that we meet when we're out and about visiting schools and things, particularly the younger children that we meet, to find out that other creatures lay eggs too. In fact, amphibians, reptiles, fish, and mini beasts all lay eggs as well. So that means we have a lot of egg laying creatures here at Lion Learners East Midlands and with all the other Lion Learners presenters as well. So today I have got Three different types of eggs, all laid here at Lion Learners East Midlands by one of my creatures. And you need to guess who. I've got some of the contenders here with me. Um, so here is our first contender, who may be one of the egg layers. This is Millie. Millie is an African millipede. There she is. So maybe one of these eggs was laid by Millie. Millie back in her box, or perhaps her very keen friend trying to get into her box. This is Turbo. Turbo is an African snail. He's just kind of curled his head around so he's not looking at you now, but possibly Turbo laid one of these eggs, or it could be the very noisy ladies behind them. Perhaps it could be Dottie the quail, or one of her friends. You can hear her friend Daisy shouting in the background. Let's put them back in for now. Or, perhaps, one of these eggs was laid by Gwen, the crested gecko. There she is, the lovely Gwen. And the final contender for our possible egg layer, let me put Gwen back in, is... Rio, the beautiful corn snake. Perhaps Rio was our egg later today. Let me put egg Rio back in and then we can have a look at the very first egg. Or eggs, should I say. These are our very first eggs. And there are lots and lots and lots of them. Let me get them right up against the camera. There we go. And they're very small. Let me pick some of them up. They are, there we go, they are round and when they're first laid they are bright yellow. Um, these are not quite so bright yellow because they've been in my freezer which means that they won't hatch out into any kind of baby creature. Sometimes they're laid in clutches of perhaps a hundred all together and after a couple of weeks there could be lots and lots of babies hatching out of these eggs if they hadn't been frozen. Which one of my creatures lays eggs like this? Does anybody have any suggestions? Who, who could it be? Maybe Millie the millipede, snail, quail, gecko, or perhaps a snake. I'll tell you. The first eggs were laid by possibly the lovely Turbo or one of his friends, the African land snail. This is one of his friends, Shelley. We have eight adult African land snails here at Lion Learners East Midlands, which means that we get quite a lot of eggs, especially in spring and summer. And you can imagine with a hundred at a time, that's a lot of baby snails. They're very, very tiny when they first hatch out, but they grow really, really quickly. And that's because the bigger you are, the less things around that can eat you. And the reason why they lay so many eggs is because a lot of them, a lot of the eggs and the baby snails will be eaten by other things. So the more eggs they can lay, the more babies are likely to survive. Um, as I say, most of my eggs go in the freezer the day that they've been um, laid, which means that they don't hatch. Otherwise, we would have so many baby snails, we wouldn't know quite what to do with them. Okay, let's put these guys back in and we'll look at egg number two. I think this is the easiest. Who lays an egg like this? 
Hmm. This is a much, much bigger egg. It's not round, and that means that if it's on the ground, it wouldn't roll. It would go round and round in a circle. So, we know it wasn't the snails. Is that the millipede, the quail, the gecko, or the corn snake? Okay, if you guessed quail, you were spot on. So, let's get Dottie back out again. She's a little bit reluctant. She says, I would rather be in the garden today. Here is Dottie. Dottie and her friends lay one egg each a day. They don't lay a hundred at a time, that's just not possible. But they lay eggs almost every day at this time of year, a little bit less often in the winter time. And these eggs that are laid by my girls won't hatch. There are no babies inside because all of my quail are girls, which means that I don't have a dad quail around. And so they're eating eggs, a bit like a chicken egg that you would get in the supermarket. So they're nice for eating but no babies inside. If I had a male quail around and either I put them in an incubator or Dottie sat on them to keep them nice and warm, then they would hatch out into baby quail and they're very, very small, small enough to fit inside one of these lovely eggs. So they're really, really tiny. Oh, Dottie says, let me go back in. Very, very tiny when they're first laid. The reason why they are not round is because these birds, they have their nests on the ground so the eggs are on the floor and if they accidentally get kicked then they aren't going to roll away they're going to go round and round in a circle so a bit like a chicken egg they aren't exactly spherical they're pointy at one end right let's put dotty back in and we'll look at i think the hardest egg now usually there are two of these but the other one was a bit of a mess these are always laid in pairs and it looks a little bit like a licorice sweet i think like it might be very, very tasty to eat. Who lays an egg like this? Could it be? Here she is. One of our millipedes. Or could it be Gwen the gecko? Or Rio the corn snake? What do we think? Well, I think this one is a bit of a surprise. Let me show you who laid this egg. This egg was laid by Gwen. Look at the size of the egg. Oops, there we go. Compared to the size of the lizard. So it's quite an effort for them to lay eggs like this. They always lay them in twos. They never lay more than two eggs in one go. And these, again, are not fertile. It won't hatch even if I incubated it because I have two crested geckos here. Gwen and her friend Christina, but they're both girls. So there's no boy around to fertilize the egg. But still, Gwen lays eggs maybe every month or so through spring and summer, and then she has a little break in the winter. So this is just an empty egg, but she's a teenager. And so she very often will lay these eggs. And I think it's quite hard work for her to lay an egg like this, even more hard work. Oops, there we go. If there were babies inside. So it takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy and we have to make sure she has proper food so that she can build herself back up again after laying eggs like this. Very, very surprising that she can lay an egg quite that large. Hey Gwen. So the other creatures I've showed you though, the two red herring creatures who I don't have eggs from here, they do lay eggs as well. My millipedes have never ever laid eggs that I have seen. They lay small eggs, I would imagine they're about the same size as a land snail egg, but I've never seen any eggs from them. They don't seem to want to make any babies. I don't think they are as quite as easy or eager to make babies as snails are. And corn snakes lay eggs as well, but not often empty eggs in the way that the geckos do. So. If Rio had been with a boy snake, then she would lay some eggs. And they look quite similar to the gecko's eggs. Let me show you a little picture of them. There they are. Apart from the fact that they are a little bit bigger and a little bit rounder too. And inside there's a baby snake coiled up. But they can lay big, big clutches of eggs. Much more eggs in a clutch than a gecko would. But Rio has not. Rio is about five and a half years old now 
And she has never laid any eggs, and perhaps she never will. Right, let's put Rio back in. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed our Easter special, Guess the Egg. I wonder if you guessed any of them right. Tune in tomorrow for another live Animal Cam at 2 o'clock.